Hello everybody, it's Joel from Silver Arrow Cars and I am here in our showroom to show you something that we don't normally have. It is not very common that we've got American muscle or American built cars in our showroom. As you can see, uh, a lot of European stuff and that is our forte. However, <clears throat> we do have a great client and this was in his collection and now it is in our hands. This is our 1970 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. This is a C3 and this is a completely numbers matching documented car and its condition is really really impressive and equally is its documentation in the history of this car. It has registrations and titles and copies of titles and uh, service receipts going all the way back to the 70s um, and I must admit these were not my favorite cars but the more you're around some of these early C3s and the chrome bumper cars the appreciation continues to grow I think they've really come into their own in the last while and uh, you know I grew up a muscle car guy but these chrome bumper C3s I don't know they kind of do it for me so we are offering this car at no reserve it is back at home in the United States In this video, please use in conjunction with our driving video and all of our HD photos to better educate yourself on the car and get a better idea of it so that you can place your bids as this is a no reserve car, no reserve auction. Very, very, very original and highly documented 1970 Corvette Stingray. This is a 350 350 horsepower car with the Muncie M21 transmission the same transmission it was factory ordered with and delivered with and you'll see through documentation that we provide a ton of originality throughout the car fortunately was resprayed approximately 17 to 20 years ago which is why today, sitting in our showroom, it looks so good. All right, so let's walk around the car. I'm gonna show you all through the interior. I'll open up the engine compartment. I'll show you that small block 350. Um, we'll start the car and show you everything you need to know. So let's start on the passenger corner and we'll get up front. The paint presents extremely well throughout the car. As does the chrome. Rolling across the front. A couple little chips to point out there. You can see pretty clearly here through the camera, the chrome is in excellent, excellent condition. Couple chips there to point out. The rest of the hood is excellent. And scrolling across that iconic egg crate front grills and looking at that chin spoiler in the lower valance the acrylics look good in the turn signals Looking down the side of the car. The tires are like new. Beauty rings, rally wheels, and center caps. All fantastic. A 
blemish there to point out. And then really I've gone over the entire car. The rest of it is really impressive condition. Look at that combo kind of egg crate side gill and the emblem. Through the inner fender well, please make sure you do have a look at the underside photos. It is very impressive in condition underneath. Really, really nice. Along that cowl, little chip here. Now I need to point out the vacuum operating cowl that raises up and then exposes your windshield wipers for them to operate on vacuum is not currently operational. Window trim, all quite good. There is some pitting in the windshield, uh, but as you'll see on the drive, it's not bad. Paint along the doors, as is the rest of the car, is really, really good. Very high gloss. Same thing with your rear tires, rear beauty rings, center caps. 2021 date code. Really nice. I love these rear buttresses. And the paint is nice all the way around. Luggage rack chrome, really tidy. Get around to the rear. 70 being the first year of the rectangular exhaust ports. Nice and tidy. That rear chrome. And it's much of the same down the passenger side and really throughout the entire car. Nice and clean and very black inside those wheel wells. I know you can't see them. Camera's not gonna allow it, but very, very tidy in there. And then again, same thing down the passenger side. Very straight, the paint is exceptional. Really impressive. All right, I've taken the floor mats out. Scanning up the jam. of the doors. The seats are exceptional. Really cool release in the center top. There's 
is your button for the seat release. Very tidy in the back. <clears throat> there is some sun fading to the carpet, but overall the carpet's in very good condition. The seat back. The cushion is not collapsed in the armrest in the center. Nice closure and fitment of the doors. Same run around. Ends of the doors. Equally as nice as the passenger seat is the driver's seat. See that interior light in the rear cargo area is operational. You can see the tie downs there for your panel roofs, or your roof panels, and then your little compartments. It's your battery compartment. And then your locking compartment, the little lights inside operational. And I'm just going to turn up the exposure here one moment. All right, I've just cranked up the ISO so you can see a little bit better into the nooks and crannies. Really impressive in the preservation of the interior and all the plastics that normally on these old cars get broken. Let's pop the hood. Matching numbers again, so matching numbers, engine, original engine, original transmission, differential, very, very original car. And I remember as a 15 year old and I bought my first car. That was a 68 Chevelle. And I believe this car has the same heads. The double bump small block Chevy heads that were so desirable. If I am correct. Just very, very tidy. <clears throat> Obviously some of it looks aged, 
but no signs of corrosion anywhere. Maybe oxidization, but just very original. You'll see the service work, I believe at some point in the last decade or so, or I think in the last five years, it had a new radiator and brakes and some other items taken care of. Car fires up every time very easily. See the tack working as it should. To get the key out, you need to be in reverse. Lift the hood slightly. Pitman of the hood is fantastic. Very, very cool car. Not what we normally do, but this thing has grown on us since the day it came in and here are your roof panels the floor mats and then a custom embroidered dash cover so there you have it that is our 1970 numbers matching, extremely original, has been repainted in its original color, Moulin Blue, but numbers matching, very, very original. We'll have a video showing you documentation as well as our driving video, but has everything going back to 1970, has this original protecto plate, it has uh, documentation of all the different owners, uh, just very, very, very impressive, uh, and all of that documentation would, if this was a 1970 Ferrari, it would equal thousands of dollars of value uh, for a collector car. So, very cool that it's still with this car, and I would think that really sets it apart from a lot of other cars in the market similar to this one. So, hope you enjoyed. I try to keep quiet as much as possible during your walk around, but I hope that has satiated your hunger for more information on the car. Please watch our driving video. Reach out to us, silverarrowcars.com on the internet. Pick up the phone and call us if you'd like. I am Joel, and please good luck in your bidding. Again, we are selling this no reserve on Beringa Trailer out of Washington State.